Hi, I'm Neil Allen, Extension Irrigation Specialist for Utah State University here in Bear River City. Um, we're standing at the head of an onion field, a traditionally irrigated onion fields with a, a head ditch, siphon tubes, and furrows. And so this, this land up here is for, for turning and then we have our, our, our ditch where they maintain the water level, adjust the flow by tipping the siphons back and forth to get the uh, desired flow in each furrow. If we come down here to the furrows, uh, we have um, beds of uh, onions similar to the drip irrigation, irrigation beds. Only these, the water has to go from the furrow sub up to the, to the onions. And uh, so a little bit different and also um, the water begins at the head of the field, moves to the tail end of the field. So we have a lot of difference in the opportunity time that the water has to infiltrate into the soil before we get to the end of the field. And we're dependent upon the soil to carry the water down to the end of the field. And so if there's non-uniform soils in the field, it's a little bit hard to get a uniform irrigation because of different infiltration rates. Uh, these fields need to be laser leveled, be very leveled, so we have a good advance and, and good uniform slope for the furrows. Um, so that's one expense we have in, in these onion fields. Uh, but there's no pump involved, no filter involved, but there's other problems. The yield on these most likely would be less because of the non-uniform irrigation. The fertilizer requirements would be more um, if it's put in with the, the irrigation system and that is because of the non-uniform irrigation. And it's a little harder to keep the ideal soil moisture because of the frequent, frequency of the irrigation is less than with the drip system. So just some comparisons. Of course, the drip system has some costs that we don't have with the um, surface irrigation system. But this is the more traditional system and how they've been irrigating onions for decades and uh, um, some of the newer systems, the drip system that we've, we've seen today is uh, it would be good to compare the, the yields of the two.